Well, you guys aren't going to believe this. So, here I am. Dame Buenos. We were heading up for a recap. And we decided to come in and look at this lift. Now, we're out where there's no roads, no nothing, and we found a wall and went, hmm. Well, we started walking around, looking around, and uh, almost all of us at the same time went, holy dog bark, that is a cellar hole. Clearly stacked rocks, a lip, stone chimney stack. Easily two miles from pavement, even a mile from a dirt road. Yeah. Just in the hills of New Hampshire here. So this video is starting out differently than the recap we had planned on a decent site. And uh, let's hope after the intro, when you guys, when we come back, there's things in the ground. So stay tuned. <laughs> Good mid-tone signal to start out. Yep. Let's hope uh, get some button excitement to begin. Whatever it is, it's small. I think you called it. Yep, you did. Nice. Shankage? Oh yeah. Nice. So, this should undoubtedly be a 1700s site. It's got to be an early settler site uh, for where it is. No cut granite. Stone chimney stack. This is going to be awesome. You got stuff on it? Yeah. Really? Nice. All right, so I'm right up in the lip. Did you see that? I do that more times than it. Oh yeah, as to be expected, it's a lead button. It's white, it's not even pewter. Wow, yeah. So there we go, that is straight up lead, white. And extremely old. Okay, so. Right next to the other one? Yeah, this is where the other one was. This is my plug. And I just pulled this one out of here. I haven't cleaned it off yet, but. Oh yeah. Well, I think, for you button lovers out there, this is gonna be one of those days. Hopefully there'll be more things. Dame, you tickling? I am. Let's hear it. So dry, holy crap. I like the other day when I was trying to extract and I dug in the the root system looked like a picket fence. I mean <laughs> there was no room in between at all. I was getting the cross town traffic yesterday. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> exactly, right. Tire tracks all across your back. So <laughs> sorry, I'm up in your joint. This is a pr this is uh gonna be um, we'll call it Continuum Deja Vu. Okay. Mm hmm That's a new one. Ready? <laughs> oh, quick. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Clipped coin or clipped button? There's, uh, uh, there's no shank bump on that. Does it feel heavy for its weight? Yeah. Really? Yeah. What he's referring to, Continuum Deja Vu, is... Uh, for you guys, weeks ago, another video, yesterday for us, where we were going for the recap, he dug a clipped copper, British, 
it looks the same. Looks the same. I'm going to clean it up. The other one, we didn't get any details off of. Um, it was just that British on these, <clears throat> the F-19 is ringing up like 71. So, well, 5971-ish. Weird. All right, let's see if we can pull anything off of this. There you go. Easy signals. Everyone's swinging over something right now. So this actually is ringing up right where Dame's target rung up. So let's see if it's a another button or something non-button. Either way, it's exciting. Oh, it is a big button. Big button with stuff on it. Look at this thing. It's got design upon design in it. That is gorgeous. All right, Wayno's got the double mint thing going on over here. So here's my button I just dug, which, take a look at that thing. And Wayno's, he just dug this one. Which, geez, I wonder if that's a match. Oh, no, yours is Tomback, man. Tomback with uh, something in the middle. Very cool. And right here is a cufflink. Wow, gorgeous. So, essentially, Wainos is working off the side of the house here amazing yeah there was some iron blips over here and here i started getting all the buttony sounds yeah apparently and over to dame because he says he's dug something we ain't never dug before which i find not impossible but remarkable clipped coin is right there hole is here and this is going to be a thumb reveal Hey, no, I have dug one of those, and I thought really? I thought it was not actually what I thought it was. I'm like, oh, look, world's smallest hatchet. I can't remember where or when. It was a long time ago. But I thought mine was just something that looked like something else. That is definitely world's smallest shiny hatchet. Wow. I, I always thought mine was just... A thing that looked like a the thing. lead dropped that way and happened right. to dry in a <laughs> hatchet shape. Huh. Well, that's awesome. I'm. Yeah. That'd be a cool pendant, huh? Ah, oh, pewter. Well, so as expected, we are dealing with mid 1700s stuff out here. So. Just dug the pewter and dug a flat one right before it. So, two in two minutes. I don't know if you can see it or not. No, too bright. Huh. See something? Well, maybe it was just crust. So, that's what we do in the field at times. Thought he had a chicken on it or something, which would be extremely interesting for where we are right. and the time period we're dealing with. Now here is a rarity of a find and the signal, I thought it was going to be a chunk of bean pot because it was just high numbers, squeaky, sound of iron. And you know what? Don't actually ever find these too often. I can tell you it's been a couple years and I remember the site where I found them last, but that is an iron dandy button. See? Shank and all. I think I've I have only found maybe three or four of these. So worth it to go after those iffy signals definitely at sites like this. Oh, Wainos. Not only did Wainos dig a, a big nail and dandy button, but there's thread in there. Yeah. 
No design on the front, but that's okay. That is a beast of a button. Yeah, man. Let's see that thread again. That is always remarkable. Right? Makes you wonder how it stayed in there all those years. Good job, Dame's giggling from the hole. I heard you swing over something. Yeah, I got a button. Um, but what's kind of cool is I'm digging this hole and it was in just the, the debris that has washed down. It took me a minute to find it, but it's a big old thing. Oh, it's an iron dandy. Nice. Yeah, it's crusty. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's, yeah, it looks like an iron dandy. Wow. Cool. It's super brittle. Yeah. Wow. And Dame's inside the cellar, right basically in front of the chimney stack. So very good on going in there because that can be a... And out here it's yeah. not loaded full of washing machines and whatever. Again, an iron target. That to me doesn't look like a chain loop or ring. Looks like it was probably a maybe a buckle of sorts. I don't know. Still, good target. All right, let's go see what Wainos extracted. Oh, it does have a shank. I was gonna say it was the shankless butt. Hmm. Good job. Well, that was a tough find. Mm -hmm. Wow, another dandy. And it's a button. Beautiful. So I got a questionable one. Dame has a questionable one. Buenos is isolating something. All going on at once. Oh, cool though. What'd you get? Another iron dandy. Sweet. So kind of to be expected. These folks up here in the hills didn't have much money. Wow, look at this thing. And just look at the color of the soil. I mean, it's New Hampshire, we have lots of iron in the ground. But look at that. How awesome is that? Very. Bean pot. Buenos, yours was? I think half of a two-piece. There's the concave side. Yeah. And if you flip it, you can see the little nub where the shank was. Yeah, and they did have two-piece in the 1700s. A lot yep. of people didn't think they did, but they did. So. Cool. Yeah. Uh, 41 that I was swinging over. So there's a 41 Buenos also dug yep. a hinge. Yep. Very nice. Yep. Very cool. button. I don't know what the heck that is. It almost looks like a handle to something. Yeah, it does. It almost looks like a knife handle. That's what I was thinking, but I didn't understand the bend. Because you can see the rivet by my thumb. Right. So that would be where the handle was. Well, you never know. Unless there's a curved specialty knife for a specific pur purpose. Specific person? Yeah, specific person. And Wasn't that a group from the 80s? I think so, yeah. The Ellen Person Project. All right, well, let's dig this thing that you just swung over. All right. Whoa. Pewter. Yep. That explains the low tone. Yeah, well. Wow. 
I don't care if we show a thousand of those, that's just always remarkable. Right, because they degrade so easy. Yeah, and they're like 300 years old probably. Wow. Awesome, man. Well, there is a shank, but almost looks like a tiny drill through. Well, all right, everybody, we have to go. We have done our time, and again, we were heading for another location and found this, so we had only planned on a quick dig anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to get out of here. Next week's video, we're going to come straight back here, recap this, because it's been great, and then we'll split our time, and we will go up on the hill where we had intended to go. Yeah, so good job, man. I mean, yeah, that had to be... a great day of finding history. That was a lot of buttons and a lot of different buttons. We had pewter, which is always awesome, mm -hmm. iron dandies, and then other buttons with crazy fancy. Perfect day. Yeah, and then we just go home happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, see you guys soon. Stay young. Always keep them guessing. Keep your coils to the ground and your eyes open. Live free or die, folks. That's right. And listen, keep your ears open for the specific persons. <laughs>